Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Minecraft launcher and I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Minecraft's new launcher and download that on your PC and I'm going to show you guys how to do this in a new method. In my previous video I did show you guys how to upgrade from the old Minecraft launcher into the new Minecraft launcher and now I'm going to show you guys a new method, a new alternate method, how to download and install the new Minecraft launcher on your PC so that you are able to use the new Minecraft launcher to play all three versions of Minecraft and with the new Minecraft launcher for those of you who don't know we are able to play Minecraft Java Edition, Minecraft for Windows aka Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Dungeons all within the one launcher. In the old Minecraft launcher we weren't able to do this but with the new Minecraft launcher we are able to launch all three versions of Minecraft all from within the one launcher and for those of you who do have Game Pass it's really cool because you can just go into the new Minecraft launcher and just launch these games from within the one launcher. So now I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Minecraft's new launcher for PC and how to download it onto your PC and then install it. Alright, so if you guys have already upgraded from the old Minecraft launcher into the new Minecraft launcher and you are experiencing some errors or problems with the new Minecraft launcher, then the first thing I would recommend is if you guys actually uninstall the new Minecraft launcher and then try out this new method and do a fresh install. And to do that, go to your start bar and this is going to work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. The process should be quite similar. Click on settings and then look for where it says apps. I am obviously on Windows 11, but this should be similar on Windows 10 as well. Click on apps and features over here and in the search bar, just type in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and search for Minecraft. As you guys can see, it says I've got three different apps here. I've got Minecraft and this is the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's 2.33 gigabytes. I've got the Minecraft Launcher and I know this is the new Minecraft Launcher because it says Microsoft Studios over here and it's 211 megabytes. For some of you, that might actually be 400 megabytes depending on what you've downloaded onto it and I've also got the old Minecraft launcher over here and I know this is the old Minecraft launcher because a it says Mojang over here and b it is 3.25 megabytes what I'm going to do now I'm going to actually uninstall the new Minecraft launcher and to do that I'm going to click on these three dots and then I'm going to click on uninstall like so it's going to say this app and its related info will be uninstalled I'm going to click on uninstall and get that uninstalled from my system all right, so the next thing we want to do is make sure that our Windows is fully up to date. So I'm going to click on Windows Update over here. So in your settings, just click on Windows Update. And as you guys can see, it says you're up to date. If it doesn't say that and it's showing a few different files you need to update, do make sure that your Windows updates are all done and you have downloaded all of your Windows updates. I'm also going to click on this button that says Check for Updates. And I'm going to push the system to check for updates. And hopefully it should give me a message that says your system is completely up to date and there's no more other pending updates as you guys can see it now says you are up to date so i do know that everything is up to date the next thing we do need to make sure is that our microsoft store and our xbox app are fully up to date and to do that just go into your start menu and look for where it says microsoft store so i'm going to go inside my microsoft store and one important thing to do is to make sure that you are logged into the microsoft store with the same account that you own minecraft with if you guys are on game pass then use the same email address that you use to purchase game pass with if you are on the microsoft account for minecraft then log in with the same account and if you have recently migrated from your mojang account into your microsoft account then definitely do make sure that you are logged into the Microsoft Store click on the button and icon over here on the top right and make sure that you are logged in using that specific email ID the next thing I'm going to do is click on library over here and I'm going to click on the get updates button as you guys can see over here and this is going to basically make sure that all of my applications in the Microsoft Store are fully up to date I'm also going to look out for another application which is the Xbox app so as you guys can see I've actually got the Xbox app installed over here and if you guys can't see the Xbox app icon on here so as you guys can see it says Xbox and it says Microsoft Corporation and it's got the Xbox logo there so we do need to make sure that the Xbox app is installed and to do that just click on apps and search for 
Xbox over here and then we should have the Xbox app over here and as you guys can see it says open for me but for you guys it might say installed if you've never installed the Xbox app and then make sure that you guys have installed the Xbox app and then I'm going to click on open to actually open up the Xbox app and then I'm going to make sure that I am actually logged in using the same email ID that I did purchase minecraft with so again click on the icon on the top right over here and make sure that you are logged in into the xbox app and you are using the same email address that you purchased minecraft with and the same email address if you did migrate from the mojang account into your microsoft account or the same one that you are using to play the game pass with all right so once you've made sure that you have logged into the xbox app as well let's close this down and we have also made sure that our apps in the microsoft store are all fully up to date you guys can see that i clicked on get updates and it did give me the message that all of my apps are fully up to date as you guys can see it does say your apps and games are all up to date okay so let's close this down and now we can actually move on to downloading and installing the new minecraft launcher and get everything set up okay so if you want to load up your internet browser and in the address bar just start typing in minecraft.net and then you want to type in forward slash and then you want to type in download and that's download without an S is this one word singular and then you want to type in a forward slash and then you want to type in alternative again that's singular as well so just type in alternative and then hit enter on your keyboard and that should load up this page that says alternative download options for Minecraft Java edition and don't worry this should actually work for your Minecraft Bedrock edition and your Minecraft dungeons if you are looking to upgrade the launcher for that as well and as you guys can see it says over here platform Windows 10 slash 11 recommended and it says just double click and install easy as pie and it says minecraft.exe and if you look at the address at the bottom left there it does say launcher.mojang.com forward slash download forward slash minecraft installer.exe so I'm going to click on this minecraft.exe link over here I'm going to save this to my desktop and then I'm going to start actually installing this so let's wait for that to finish it is 30 megabytes as you guys can see so let's just wait for that to finish okay so it has finished downloading the minecraft installer I can close down my browser now and on my desktop I should have a installer that says Minecraft installer.exe and now I'm going to double click on this file to open it and get the installation started for the new Minecraft launcher so let's go ahead and double click on this file and let's wait for that to now load up and you guys should see a message that looks something like this and as you guys can see it says Minecraft launcher installer welcome to Minecraft it will give you this option here to say I've read and accepted the Microsoft software license terms so click on that box over there if you want to read the license terms obviously you can go ahead and do that click on this link and then click on install once you do that it will move into this screen that says making things awesome now don't worry if this actually stays there for a while for me it actually stayed there it when i first did it it was like that for about 10 minutes and i got worried that nothing was happening but it does move on as you guys can see it's now changed into a green progress bar there so don't worry if it does actually hang on there for a couple of minutes let's give it some time and it should say welcome to minecraft installation is done time to play and now we can click on let's go over here so let's do that and click on that and let's get the launcher now loaded up and you should see a message that says Minecraft update and it should say updating Minecraft launcher, downloading update files. So let's wait for this to now finish and then we can go through the setup process after that. All right, so as you guys can see, it's now loaded the new Minecraft launcher for me. For some of you, it might actually ask you to log in into your Microsoft account. So it should give you a message to actually log in. Uh, but because I've already logged into the Xbox app before, as I mentioned earlier, it's taking me straight inside the Minecraft launcher. And I do know that this is the new Minecraft launcher because if I click on Minecraft for Windows, it does give me this play button here. And on your systems, if you haven't actually purchased Minecraft for Windows, it should say, buy on there as well so if you actually don't own minecraft for windows it should say buy instead of play but even if it does say buy it does mean that this is the new launcher for those of you on the old minecraft launcher it would say incompatible with this launcher so we do know that this is basically the new minecraft launcher because it's got the play or buy button there 
And as you guys can see, it's already remembered that I had Optifine installed. So if I go into installations there, because I installed Optifine previously, it has actually remembered that I had Optifine installed, as you guys can see. Okay, let's close this down. And now we can actually go ahead and delete the Minecraft installer, like so. Let's highlight that and click on delete. Now, some of you might be wondering, how do I actually launch the new Minecraft launcher? Because it hasn't actually created a shortcut. And to do that, let's click on the start bar again. Let's type in Xbox in the search bar. Let's load up the Xbox app. And now on the left hand side, it should say Minecraft launcher. So as you guys can see, it's got this option here and it says Minecraft launcher. And I can actually click on this play button to actually launch the Minecraft launcher from within the Xbox app. If I click on the Minecraft launcher text here, it will give me some other information over here as well. You can read up about that. But to actually create a desktop top icon all you need to do is click on these three dots like so and then click on this button here that says create desktop shortcut and that should create a new minecraft launcher shortcut for you on your desktop so as you guys can see i've got the old minecraft launcher here installed already and for some of you you have been asking me do we actually need to upgrade to the new minecraft launcher now that is completely optional if you guys don't want to do it you can actually stick to the old minecraft launcher that is completely up to you but for those of you who want to try out the new minecraft launcher this is an alternate and new method that you guys can try to get everything set up and installed as you guys can see i've now got a shortcut for the new minecraft launcher i can double click on this and we can get that loaded up and we can start playing a minecraft easily like so another thing to note is that it should actually remember all of your settings and your save files as you guys can see it's already remembered that i had optifine installed so if you guys did have optifine or forge or anything else installed from your previous old minecraft launcher then hopefully it should have that in the installation section if for any reason it doesn't have it you can just click on new installation like so and then click on where it says version and then look for the forge installation on here now as you guys can see i've already installed iris and i've already installed other installers on here so i'm going to click on this bit here that says release iris fabric loader just going to quickly give this a name I'm going to call it iris and fabric let's also give it a icon as well and click on create like so and as you guys can see i can now actually launch fabric and play with iris shaders let's just check if all of the files are there as well so just hover over any of these three files click on the folder icon that should load up your minecraft main directory and as you guys can see see i've got different files here i've got a mods folder like so and i've got a shader packs folder i've got all of my worlds in my saves folder as well so basically all we've done is basically install the new minecraft launcher we haven't actually touched any of the minecraft files so you guys don't actually have to worry about losing any of your minecraft files all we've done is install the new minecraft launcher and then we can now play the game with the new minecraft launcher so let's launch the game for iris and fabric like so let's click on play let's just check if everything is working as it should and let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see it has loaded me into the minecraft game there let's maximize this window as you guys can see it says minecraft version 1.17.1 that is the latest version of minecraft at the moment we are obviously waiting for the new update for minecraft as well which is just going to come out in a few days and if I go into options, click on video settings, I can actually go into shader packs. And as you guys can see, I can actually choose a shader pack as well. Let's go into the select world option here. Let's create a new world and let's see if the game actually works with shaders as well. And this is all through the new Minecraft launcher. So we do know that mods and shaders and everything do work on this completely fine. So obviously, as you guys know, fabric and forge are mod loaders and the Iris shaders and Optifine are the shader mods. And as you can see, I'm now playing in Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 using shaders. And these are still the shaders and everything looks really nice as you guys can see. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries about how to upgrade and how to download and install the new Minecraft launcher on your PC, then do leave them in the comment section below. If you do have any problems as well, do leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to try and help you guys out. And also, please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.